I need to borrow 50 bucks. To quote the bank when we tried to take out our first loan? <laughs> you guys didn't even ask me what I wanted it for. Well, the bank didn't ask us either, which is a shame, because we would have run a damn fine all-you-can-drink batting cage. What do you need the money for? Well, it's kind of complicated. It's a computer thing. Oh, right. Me and your ma don't know nothing about no computing machines. Besides, don't they only have them on spaceships? <laughs> I need to buy an MP3 player. Oh, Judy, turns out we really don't know nothing about no computing machines. It's a portable educational tool that stores data in a digital format. Brian, what's an MP3 player? It's kind of like a fancy Walkman. Shut up! Okay, then, in that case, the answer is negatory. That's kind of like a fancy no. This is so lame. All my friends have MP3s. Oh, Bill, did you hear that? I didn't realize there was such pressure on her to have one. You know what? You're right. Let's give her an MP3. Really? Absolutely. Judy, give me an M. M! Give me a P. P! Give me a three. What's it spell? M-P-3! Hey, hey, hey. Where are you going? We were going to give you a DVD, too. <laughs> No, oh, but we have paper towels and Old Spice if you want to make your own. <laughs> They're next to the bleach. Why can't she use the washer and dryer in her building? She says her laundry room is scary. Well, now ours is scary. <laughs> oh, I need to borrow something else. Oh, what? What is it now? What else could you possibly need from us? Your daughter. Done. Wait, wait. <laughs> Which one? Dina. You'll never guess what I'm doing in my psychology class. Making everybody wonder who brought their mom to class? No. I'm doing an experiment on how our male-dominated culture inhibits girls, and I'd like to observe Tina. Well, Linda, I don't know if I'm comfortable with you using Tina as a guinea pig. I mean, we know nothing about this experiment, like what time it would be and if it would be on a Saturday night so that Bill and I could go to a movie. Judy, Judy, come on. We're talking about letting her experiment on our child. Dinner and a movie. Fine. <laughs> Gotta go. Wait. Aren't you a little dressed up for choir practice? Mom, I quit choir. Since when? Since I found out choir's for losers. Oh, honey, it's always been for losers. <laughs> well, um, I gotta go. My friends are here. Wait, what friends? You wouldn't know them. They're new. I didn't hear the doorbell. Oh, they called me from their cell phone. They're out on the sidewalk. Well, call them back and tell them to get in here so we can meet them. Mom, I am not gonna make them come in the house. It's embarrassing. It is not embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Hey, girls, come on in. Lauren's gonna be a minute. She's on the toilet. <laughs> I'm Judy Miller, Lauren's mom. <laughs> and this is where you say your names. Uh, mom, this is uh, Jenna, Amber, and Caitlin. Mm -hmm. Hi. Are you all in the same grade? Yeah. yeah. So where'd you all meet, speech team? <laughs> Can we go now? No. Bill, come on in here and meet Lauren's new friends. She's still in the can? Because my cream's in there and I'm starting to itch. Oh, look. It's Lauren and the Laurenettes. Mm. So where are you kids off to? I don't know. Around? Yeah, we'll probably just go to the mall and stuff. Well, where's your old friend Becca? How come she's not going with you guys? Becca? You mean Blecka? <laughs> we don't really hang out with Becca. Lauren, Becca's been your best friend since preschool. She's not my friend anymore. Can we go now? Fine. Be back by 9. My curfew is 10. Well, tonight it's 9. Did you get your MP3 yet? Oh, yeah, we totally gave her one. You guys want one, too? Let's go. No, no! <laughs> Bye, honey! Bye! Aww. Don't you just hate 
Lauren's new friends. <laughs> well, they're stuck up, snotty, wearing trashy makeup. Oh, my God, our daughter's hanging out with the popular girls. <laughs> Those girls think they are. They have her dressing like them, and they got her to quit choir and dump her best friend. Oh, Judy, relax. It's age appropriate for teenagers to emulate pack behavior, to ease the transition out of the nuclear family and into the social milieu. It's also age appropriate to do your laundry in your own home when you're 38. <laughs> I think they're a bad influence, and now they're out to the mall doing God knows what. Judy, I think at some point we have to trust our little girl. If we're good parents, we've given 100% to our kids, which we have, she'll make good decisions. Mm. What you eating? Dinner. I made it. No one else was gonna. <laughs> okay, maybe we gave 80%. Ryan, share that with Tina. Where is Tina? Okay, 40%. <laughs> Just can't decide. Sandy Peach, Coral Peach. Sandy Peach, Coral Peach. Well, we've been looking at them for an hour. I'm sure you'd be happy with either one. <laughs> this is my bathroom tile. I'll be looking at it for the rest of my life. Sandy Peach, Coral Peach. Sandy Peach, Coral Peach. Hang myself, slip my wrist. <laughs> Sit down. What? On the pot, trust me. <laughs> Close your eyes. You've had a block of cheese, which you washed down with a bowl of rice. You're in for the long haul. <laughs> Open your eyes. Close them again. Open them. Sandy Peach. Oh, beautiful. I'll write up you. We'll call you in six weeks. Bill. Hey, guys, you come down to see where the magic happens? Bill, we need to talk. I just came back from picking up Lauren at the Oak Street Mall where she was caught with her friend shoplifting. What? I wasn't shoplifting, I swear. What did she try to steal? All the makeup in the store? Looks like she smuggled it out on her face. <laughs> She stole a bracelet. I didn't steal it. I tried it on, I forgot I was wearing it, and I walked outside. I'll tell you what happened. She was trying to impress her snotty new friends with how cool she is, so she shoplifted. That is so not oh, okay, true. Okay, okay, let's not cause a scene. Daddy already has three attitudinal demerits, whatever the hell those are. <laughs> so, Lauren, I need to talk to your mother alone. Fine, I'll go look at clothes. Oh, no, I don't want you enjoying yourself. You stay here where your father works. Hey. <laughs> Bill, what are we going to do about Lauren? We have fun in this department. You know, only this morning, Okay, Dennis... Bill, let's stay on our daughter, okay? I knew I shouldn't have let her go out with those girls the other night. But is it at least possible she's telling the truth? Okay, don't take this the wrong way, but I think I know better when our daughter's lying than you do. Oh, please, that's crap. I can look into my little girl's eyes and tell if she's lying. Oh, really? Take your best shot. I will. Lauren? Yes? Sweetheart, we all make mistakes, but uh, what's worse is lying about them. So, if you tell me you didn't do it, I'll believe you. But if you did, this is your chance to take responsibility for your actions. So, uh, Duncan, tell me the truth. Did you steal that bracelet? No, Daddy, I didn't steal it. Then I believe you. You're off the hook. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Judy, we have no proof she did it on purpose. She swears it was a mistake, and I looked into her eyes. Okay, Lauren, go wait for me on the bench over there, please. So we're just gonna let this go. Yeah, I know my little girl. Yeah, I know her too. I used to be her. Well, that's the problem, Judy. You're too like her to be objective. You're thinking like the kid you used to be. One of us has to be mature about this. Attention, Berenson's employees. We would like to see Mr. Bill Miller in ladies' underwear. <laughs> Bill Miller in ladies' underwear. I told you we had fun in this department. <laughs> Come on, Judy, we're gonna be late. The movie starts at 7. Oh, Bill, relax. We're going to Galaxy 24. It also starts at 7.10, 7.15, 7.20, and 7.35. <laughs> oh, lipstick. Why are you putting on makeup? No one can see you in there. And you already bagged your moose. <laughs> Unbelievable. Women are so programmed by society that Judy feels compelled to wear lipstick even when she's sitting in the dark. You feel compelled to talk even when nobody's listening. <laughs> joke, Bill. Okay, we learn these gender roles when we're very young, but I believe that my experiment will prove that in a gender-neutral environment, Tina will be just as free to choose this as this. 
Oh, no, I can see her choosing either. It's the one in the middle no one wants to play with. Hi. <laughs> Big plans for tonight? Bonnie and I are going bowling with Adam and his day, and afterwards I'm sleeping at Adam's. Meaning you're staying out late with Bonnie. No, meaning I'm sleeping over at Adam's. Oh, I got you. No, really, Dad, I'm sleeping over at Adam's. Right. Adams. <laughs> Let me just wink and be happy. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Hi, Daddy. Oh, hey, Tina. Hi. How are you today? Fine. How are you? <laughs> good. I'm good. Listen, um, we have an experiment here. I'm going to give you some toys here. And when I tell you, I want you to choose one of them, okay? Okay, Tina. Do you want the doll? Or the fire truck. Hey, camera, is it on? <laughs> yeah. yeah, just just ignore the camera, honey. So which one do you choose? Hello. <laughs> just forget the camera, okay? Just pick a toy. I'm a beautiful princess. You can be the prince. No, no, I can't. <laughs> can't be the prince, honey, because girls can't be prin Would you just pick a toy? <laughs> Sweetie. Okay. Upstairs. Coming. Hey, Tina, how do the wheels on the bus go? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. <laughs> Judy, what are you doing? We gotta get to the theater. How am I gonna sneak into five minutes of three other movies if we don't leave now? I came into Lauren's room to borrow some lipstick and I dropped the cap and it accidentally rolled under the bed and look what I found. A brand new MP3 player. Hey, that's a thing Lauren wanted. I couldn't afford, but somehow got. Now, Judy, don't jump to conclusions. We couldn't afford this house. Somehow we got it. Well, face it. She stole it, and she stole the bracelet, too. Oh, man, I can't believe she'd do this to me. She looked me right in the eye and lied. I didn't steal it, Daddy. I told you. I don't know why you're so surprised. Well, because she didn't just lie, Judy. I have no problem with lying. I lie all the time. <laughs> That lipstick looks great on you, see? But uh, did I look you in the eye? Did I call you daddy? Hey, guys. What's going on? Lauren, can you explain what this MP3 player was doing under your bed? I have no idea. Come on, there's no store receipt. You couldn't afford to buy it. Tell me the truth this time. You stole it. I didn't steal it. I've never seen it before. That's the truth. Really? You're telling the truth. How does that lipstick look on your mother? Looks fine. You're a liar. She looks like a circus clown. <laughs> MP3 player. I have no idea how this got under my bed. Oh, hang on a second. Let me just check something. Huh? Look at that. I wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> you are grounded for a month. A month? Two weeks for the bracelet and two weeks for the MP3 player, and you are forbidden from seeing those snotty new friends of yours. What? You can't pick my friends. No, but you can't pick a lock, which means you're going to be stuck in this room until tomorrow when you go to Crazy John's and apologize for stealing the MP3 player. And you don't want to mess with Crazy John because he's got that big chainsaw he uses to slash prices. <laughs> No, I'll tell you what's unfair. We're going to be late for the movies, and if they run out of cinnamon pretzels, may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> hey, Tina. You done showing the camera all your songs and your dances and your butt? Yeah, I'm tired. Good. Pick a toy. <laughs> okay, great. A toy that you want, not a toy that you think you should have because you're a girl, okay? Think it over carefully. <laughs> doll or fire truck? Stinky doll or pretty shiny fire truck? But I still want the doll. Oh, okay, you know what? You can have the doll. It's fine. Just remember that the doll is a very special doll who can grow up to be whatever she wants, okay? She's gonna be a princess. Or a doctor or an astronaut or a painter. No, then she'll ruin her pretty dress and she won't mean a handsome prince. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe your doll will see that most of those so-called princes are toads. But sometimes they're married toads. <laughs> so it's better to face the fact that you might always be single and never have kids. <laughs> That's okay, because you can always just throw yourself into a brand new career. <laughs> um, and, uh, 
Do you want to hold my doll? <laughs> Linda, I'm sorry your project turned out to be such a bust. Ah, uh, not completely. Actually, I got an A. But you didn't prove your point. Well, I talked to my professor and explained my thesis and what went wrong. And as I turned to leave the office, he uh, <laughs> called me back and we talked a little and he gave me an A. Were you wearing those pants? <laughs> yeah, why? Ah, oh, crap, all men are pigs. <laughs> uh, you better come through for me on that final next week. <laughs> hey, how'd it go? Oh, just great. We got all the way to Crazy John's, and Lauren refused to apologize. That's because I didn't steal it. Hey, Lauren, I just want you to know that I still have faith in you. Just gonna get my wallet out of your way? <laughs> If it's all right with everybody, I think I'll go to the kitchen and get a snack. But don't worry. I'm going to pay for it because I don't want you to accuse me of stealing. Oh, honey, I know you're trying to prove a point, but it uh, just cost you three dollars. <laughs> mm. oh. What did Crazy John say when you told him what happened? Actually, Crazy John wasn't there. I think I talked to his sister, Spitty Sue. <laughs> hey, I'm back. From Adam's house. Where I stayed last night. People didn't even notice I was gone. Oh, honey, we noticed we missed you at dinner. I was here for dinner. Hi, Lauren. Whatever, I'm going to bed. Okay. What's up with her? She's grounded because she stole an MP3 player. <laughs> That's hilarious. She's so dumb. If she just waited a week, I bought her one for her birthday. MP3 player? Her birthday's next week. <laughs> yeah, I, I got sick of her borrowing mine. Where's this MP3 player? Get this. She always snoops around my room around her birthday, so I hid it under her bed. See, I figure she never cleans under there. <laughs> well, we found the MP3 player and we thought she stole it. Oh, poor thing. We've been calling her a thief all week. We made her return it. We made her return her own birthday present. <laughs> You guys are so screwed. <laughs> Wait a minute, did you guys get my money back? I don't want to hear it from you, mister, because none of this would have happened if you'd been here last night. Where were you anyway? I was out all night knocking over mailboxes and making out with Bonnie. You are in so much trouble. I'm kidding. But you just let me have this. Lauren, honey, can we come in? Hey, pumpkin. What do you guys want? I bet with all the craziness going on around here, you could use a good laugh. <laughs> okay, you ready to laugh? Here's Judy. Well, uh, your father and I have been thinking, and we decided we believe you after all, so sorry. Oh, and uh, here's your three bucks back. <laughs> Trying to buy your own food. Your money's no good here. <laughs> you guys found out I didn't steal that MP3 player. All right. Brian told us he bought it for you for your birthday and hid it under your bed. So I guess... Oops. <laughs> you made me give back my birthday present. You called me a thief and all I get is an oops. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. Some of us wanted to believe you. <laughs> well, the important thing here is that I am innocent. I didn't do anything. Yeah, you are. And I should have believed you. Yeah, you should have. You're right. And I don't blame you for hating me right now. You have every right to. It wasn't fair, and I'm sorry. It's okay, Mom. No, no, you obviously have much better judgment than I did at your age. And I should have given you more credit. I just hope that you can still trust me, because I want us to have an honest and open relationship. Oh, man, I hate this. We said we're sorry. No. I hate you for making me feel guilty. I didn't steal the MP3 player, but I did steal the bracelet. Wow. Well, I am really proud of you for coming clean. To tell you the truth, I have a confession to make. I was right. Okay. You were right. You know her better. She's just like you. No, she's nothing like me. She fessed up. I never would have done that. 
Look, I know what I did was stupid, but Jenna and the other kids were taking stuff. I didn't want to seem scared. But I'll never do it again. I'm over Jenna and them. So you finally listened to your mother and me? No, I figured it out on my own. But because of something we said. Actually, it was something I saw in the real world. <laughs> Point is, you learned your lesson. Yeah, from the TV we bought. No. First they ditched me when I got caught, and then they thought it was funny. I don't need friends like that. Well, however it happened, I'm just happy that you're finally figuring these things out on your own. So I guess I'm not grounded? Oh, no, no. You still stole that bracelet. And as a father and a retailer, I can't let that go unpunished. <laughs> But because you came clean, I'm reducing your sentence from four weeks to two. But we're calling off your birthday party. You guys forgot my birthday, didn't you? <laughs> from two weeks to one. <laughs> Touch that doll and you're dead to me. 